seat belt, throwing my foot out, because once I sag my weight and peel them, I'm gonna settle into a proper back. BJJ for breakfast. All right, so we're gonna do another closed guard technique. We're gonna do a add on to what we did on Tuesday. Okay, so you guys recall, we started here in closed guard. We had collar control, right, to control their posture. And we had a cross grip on an arm, right? So we come forearm to forearm. I wanna make sure I have my arm on the inside. I'm not doing this. Swimming my arm in, okay? Grabbing at the tricep, right at the bend of the arm, locking it down, controlling his posture, okay? What we did, um, Tuesday was we did this little drag across, right? Remember this? Cupping the neck, grabbing the tendon, shooting underneath the arm. All right, we did this pendulum sweep, okay? Doesn't always work. Sometimes you'll notice you actually drag too far, okay? You, you didn't move too well, <laughs> right? It ends up being a really big drag. And we end up here, and they're actually in the way of us getting underneath them, okay? That happens sometimes. So when that happens, instead of trying to get underneath them and do a pendulum sweep, which I really can't get to because his whole shoulder now is blocking me from pivoting underneath them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the neck, right? So I'm gonna control here. I'm gonna go from the neck to the lat. And then I'm gonna bring my bottom arm, elbow up. And then we're gonna do a back take instead, okay? The entire time I'm doing this, I'm pulling my belly into him because I don't want him to get this arm out. And it's gonna be just like we did in the gi class, right? Take the foot, take it out, put it, shallow it, right? We come up to here, we go over under, we throw this shallow hook in his hip and then we sag over. And then we end up in our back, our back take position, yeah? So sometimes I saw a lot of you guys on Tuesday, you get down here and you would do a really big drag and you'd be way off to the side and then you couldn't, you couldn't get over, right? So this is what you do in that situation. Grab, grab. We're gonna go to the lat now and squeeze that nice and tight. This arm up and under, shallow the leg, come up to our hand. So the whole time I'm keeping my belly tight, I guess it's part of his shoulder. As soon as we get up here, we're capturing our seatbelt, okay? Bottom hand, grabbing the top hand, foot on the hip, and then we peel them. Okay? Same thing other side. Controlling the wrist, or controlling the elbow, I mean, controlling the head. We hip escape out, we pull him down. He's too far, okay, I can't, I can't get under him now. I, I did the move too well. So we're gonna grab, grab, okay, so we're coming here, grabbing the armpit. Other arm grabs the lat. Once I get the lat, I let my bottom arm go. Elbow to the mat, shorten my leg, grabbing the seat belt. Throwing my foot over. I don't even need to get it all the way in. I just need to get it right on his hip. Because once I sag my weight and peel him, I'm going to settle into a proper back control. Okay? Last time. We control the arm. We control the head. We drag. We grab. We grab. Right? Elbow. Shorten the leg. Get it in between his legs. Grab that back control. Leg. Sag. And then take the back, yeah? Okay, let's run it. One, two, three. What? What's up, guys? If nice. you like that, please smash the like button, tap the subscribe button to support the channel, and then let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Oh.